Al Barça es la nuestra vida. All right, all right, all right, all right. Welcome everybody. Welcome back to La Gran Planet. Today, guys, Barça demolished Paris Saint Germain in the Parc de Princes. PSG two Football Club Barcelona three. First hit, first hit for Football Club Barcelona from Chavis. Incredible team, guys. Possibly. The best game yet of the season today. Chapo, guys, Chapo, Chapo. I'm so happy, guys. We should be hyped for today, guys. Rafinha, what a guy, man. Man of the match. Man of the match award for Rafinha. That's what he deserves today. I saw an splendid team, guys. We smacked PSG in the ass. And I remind, uh, I remember when uh, when Mr. Kylian Mbappe, a few days ago, he was saying, oh, you know, the games in the Champions League are for... Um, are for the big players and I am ready, I won't hide. Well, uh, maybe he wasn't talking about himself, maybe he was talking about Rafinha, right? Impressive, guys, impressive. I'm so proud for this team, I'm really, really proud. Uh, today we really showed that we can play at a high level, today that we really showed that we can compete, today we really showed that this Barcelona, this Barcelona can certainly lift the sixth title I'm gonna be hyped. Let me be hyped, guys. We need, we need this hype. I think Barcelona deserves it after a very tough season, after a very tough season for Xavi Hernandez, after a very tough season for the whole players. A lot of, uh, a lot of injuries. Um, I can say, guys, that there was no player in the pitch today that didn't perform. High level from every single one of us. High level. We played like a team. We stopped PSG. And we deserve the credits, guys. We go uh, back home now, second game next week, and we are ahead, guys. We're playing home. Let's not bottle this. Let's get to the semifinals. It seems that Atletico de Madrid could be our rivals if we get to the semifinals because they got uh, the win also against Dortmund, although they, ha they have to play against uh, Dortmund now in Germany. And we will see, guys. We will see. I'm very positive. Today I saw uh, uh, PSG deactivated, uh, Dembélé deactivated despite a very good goal from him and especially Kylian Mbappé. Kylian Mbappé was nowhere to be seen, guys. Nowhere to be seen, as we said uh, on, on the video that I made two days ago, uh, talking about how to stop Mbappé. Barcelona did exactly, exactly what I thought they would do, which is cover Mbappé with Koundé and Araujo together. Guys, it went perfectly. I went perfectly. By the way, I see almost 300 people. Guys, smash the likes for, for Barcelona, guys. We are going into the fucking second leg on, on a, on a, on a three-goal lead. Um, of course, <laughs> one-goal lead. But I'm getting too hyped now. But, but of course, of course, we deserve the credit, guys. Barcelona came out with this starting 11. Cancelo, Cubarsi, Araujo, Cundé. Um, Ter Stegen, of course, in goal. Frenkie de Jong and Sergi Roberto there in the midfield. Gundogan, Rafinha, Lewandowski, Lamina, Mal. Uh, very, very, very nice uh, covering here from uh, from uh, Kunde to Mbappe. Mbappe was coming in th through the side here all the time. Maybe moving a bit into the middle, uh, going into the into the side here. He was getting help from another player that was that was coming in. But a splendid, guys, a splendid defense. Sergi Roberto helping a little bit here. Sergi Roberto uh, played all right. Frankie de Jong, Frankie de Jong and Gundogan there uh, holding midfielder. I really liked it. Kubarsi, man. Kubarsi, guys. Guys, Kubarsi. Can you understand? Kubarsi, 17 years old. Guys, today, Kubarsi, to me, very good level. Very, very good level. I give him a 7.5, guys. I give a guy a 7.5. And of course, Araujo Kunde. These guys, 8.5, 9. Uh, Cancelo was great, 7, you know, not, not, not the best, but great. Attacking, you know, defending, um, stopping uh, Dembele at times. Then they had this, this, young, uh, this young player coming in. Um, Baluka, I think that's his name. I'm sorry, I've just, uh, I just couldn't, uh, I couldn't focus on the, on the people's names, you know. Uh, but of course, Rafinha, man of the match, guys, coming in through the side, coming into the middle. Rafinha was looking for the ball all the time, guys. Possibly the best game of Rafinha yet with Barcelona. Today he scored the brace, and it's the first brace that he ever scores with Football Club Barcelona. There's chapeau to him, and let me tell you that I think Rafinha has been very criticized very criticized 
and we must we must apologize to Rafinha because uh, this guy smells the goal. He smells the goal. He goes for it. He goes for it. And Lamin Yamal was great too. Uh, nothing too crazy. And Lewandowski, one good thing that I really liked about Lewandowski is that Lewandowski was attracting the defenders. He was attracting the defenders and, and Ter Stegen was pulling the ball all the way up into Lewandowski and it was giving space for Rafinha and for Cancelo to make the runs, guys. And, and basically he was taking the ball, picking it up, moving it backwards or moving it into Gundogan and then Rafinha was there. You know, Rafinha had the space. This is exactly this is exactly how we had predicted in the in the match preview, and and I'm I'm so happy it happened, guys. I'm so happy it happened because I knew, I knew it was the way, guys. I I certainly knew it was the way. If we looked at the at the stats, guys, we lost the possession. We even lost total shots, but a game was pretty equalized, guys. We started scoring um, the first goal uh, with Rafinha, then um, PSG came back. In, right after the, the half time with two goals, two quickly goals, I, I think they were possibly in, in two, three minutes. Similar to what Real Madrid did yesterday against uh, Man City. We thought, you know, at that moment I was thinking, man, I know it's a big hit for, for us because we just conceded two goals and we dropped the lead. But it was important, it was important for us to hold the positions, you know, to let the flow go on the game not drop you know don't drop the defense right there don't drop the attention guys there's still so much game to go and we did and we did pedri came on and beautiful pass guys let me show you pedri's pass i know i might get i might get some some ban here but i don't care look at pedri's pass pedri's pass guys pedri's pass pedri's pass pedri's pass Pedri's pass, it's just, look, look, I'll play it again, man, I don't care. Look at this, look at this, he gets it? Guys, this is the first ball, this is the first ball, this is the first ball he touched in the game. Literally the first ball he touched in the game, guys, it's, it's insane, it's insane. We certainly are pumped, we certainly are going in with a lot of confidence and maybe, who knows, guys, who knows? We can get into the final if we get a lucky... Uh, lucky game against Atletico de Madrid. Uh, we we destroyed Atletico Madrid lately. We 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 won both games in La Liga. If we go through against PSG in the second leg, we can beat uh, Atletico Madrid. We can be in the final. This is real, guys. This is real. It's really real, guys. Smash the lights, man. Smash the lights, man. Let's go, guys. Let's go, cause we're doing this, man. Let's do us. Let's go. Let me know. Let me know what you guys have to say. Let's do a quick Q and A. I know I love you guys. This is incredible. Five hundred people watching, man. We deserve it. We deserve it. Grab your drinks, man. Lift them, man. Grab your drinks, cause we're we're onto the second leg with one goal ahead, and this is great because this is Barca, and we never gave up, guys. Real Cules never gave up. I've always said it. I've always said it, we're here, we come and smash the petrodollars. We smash the petrodollars. There's one thing that you can buy with money, which is the players. You can buy all the money that, you can buy all the players that you want. You can buy Mbappé, you can buy Dembélé, you can buy Vitinha, you can buy whoever you want. But greatness, greatness, you can't buy greatness. You cannot buy greatness, my friend. You cannot, you cannot, you cannot. And certainly what you cannot buy is La Masia. And what you cannot buy is the spirit. And what you cannot buy is the desire. Instead, you know, you, can, you think you can win the Champions League with mercenaries? Pure mercenaries? No way, man. Kylian Mbappe is the biggest egocentric player in the world. And that's why he's gonna fail, because we can destroy the guy. We can enable the guy. We can disable Kylian Mbappe. This is exactly what we did tonight. And we will do it again. And if he goes to Madrid, we will do it again. And again. And again. How many times do you want Mbappe? How many? My friend. Go to the go to the Premier League, man. Go to the Premier League. Maybe you can do better there. Eh? We disabled you, my friend. And let me show you the picture. Let me show you the picture of the night. Where is the picture of the night? I have it somewhere here. I have it somewhere here. Let me show you the picture of the night. This is the picture of the night. This is the picture of the night. Yeah, this guy was talking, huh? He was talking. How, how, how much were you talking? Uh, you were saying, oh, it's the night for the great players. It's the night where the great players, I won't hide. Well, 
I don't know where were you, bro. I couldn't see you, my friend. I couldn't see you. Keep on talking. Keep on barking. You're you're made for Real Madrid, man. You're made for Real Madrid. Do you talk trash? You talk trash. Instead, here we play. Instead, here we play. Eh? Shush, shush, and play. This is exactly how we should do. And now, and now, we need to give the second hit. We need to give the second hit. We need to go and make the second hit. We need to go kill them, destroy them. And yet, and then against Atletico Madrid. And, and watch me, man. And watch this player. Watch, watch this team. We're gonna do it, man. I have confidence, man. We're gonna do it. Let's pump it up, man. Let's pump it up. Laporta was right, guys. Laporta was right. Laporta was right. And we should give a second hit to these guys, man. The Petrodollars. Al Khelaifi, he was laughing. He was laughing uh, because they didn't even invite Laporta for lunch. They didn't. Instead, in Barcelona, we will invite Al Khelaifi. And how many Petrodollars do you have? How many Petrodollars? Who, who else do you want to buy? La Minya Mal for 200 million? Here. Nothing. You get nothing, my friend. Nothing. Not even Luis Enrique is going to be able to take you far. Not even him, man. Not even him, which, you know what? I respect Luis Enrique a lot. I respect the guy. He is a culé. Luis Enrique is a culé. You have a culé as a coach, how can I be? <laughs> Honestly, man, it's insane, man. You have a, you have a culé as a coach, how can I be? <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. It's unreal, man. It's unreal. Unreal, guys. I see, I see the gold machine. I see Ponfa Minor. I see Varum Goodman. Do you think uh, PSG under, underestimated Barca? Absolutely. Absolutely, they underestimated us. And it was great. I loved it. I loved it, man, how they underestimated us. For sure they did. I see Davido of Arabia. The yellow of Christensen is nonsense. He was not in need to make that foul. Yeah, it's a shame. Absolutely, man. Careful. Careful, because in the second leg, uh, neither Christensen nor Sergio Roberto will be able to play. Okay? Therefore, careful. Careful. Uh, I see Mark S. saying, football is team game. Absolutely, guys. They can invest all their money that they wanted. If they have a, a great player, okay, we'll disable the player. You know, when Messi was here with us, it was an it was a different story because Messi is Messi. Mbappé is nowhere near, man. Mbappé is nowhere near. He's just a goal scorer. He's a good goal scorer, not a box goal scorer like Haaland or Cristiano Ronaldo. He's he's better. He's better than that. But and I see, yeah, Serenity saying Dembélé dis disrespected us. Absolutely, absolutely. But you know what? I think that he didn't even realize that he was celebrating the goal. The guy has nothing inside his head. There's fucking nothing. There's nothing there, bro. He even celebrated the goal right on the corner where the Barca fans were in the stadium. That's because he has nothing. Nothing inside of here, man. I swear he has nothing. Therefore, I, I, you know what? I don't care. I don't care if he disrespected us. I don't care because I know he didn't even do it intentionally because the guy has nothing in his brain, man. And, and now it's me disrespecting the guy, but it's the truth. It's the absolute truth. It's the absolute truth. Let me see, what else do we have? Patson says, uh, Lewa, for me, did good in build-ups. Absolutely, absolutely. This is what, exactly what I was saying. He did great uh, pulling the ball down from the passes to, uh, from Ter Stegen, pulling the ball down, dragging the defenders, making space for Rafinha, for, for Gundogan to come in. Uh, it was great. I liked it. I think if, if this is working, guys, let's do this. Let's do this, absolutely. Guys, make sure to smash the likes. We have 600 people watching now. Smash the likes and, and let me know your thoughts in the comment. It would be great to know where you guys are tuning in from because this is the planet. This is Blaugrana Planet, guys. We're tuning in from all around the world, guys. Let me know where you guys are tuning in from. It's great. Hank Storm says, PSG tried to copy Barca. I mean, you know what? You can try to copy Barca. You can try to copy the game style. And, and you know what? Let me give credits to Pep Guardiola because he did it quite well. But there is one thing, guys. There's one thing that you need. You need La Masia. You need the history. You need the heritage. You know? And that you cannot buy with money. That you cannot get with, uh, with signing Pep Guardiola or signing, signing any coach. Because Pep Guardiola invested 1 billion euros or 1 billion dollars or pounds or whatever you want to say. They invested 1 billion pounds in building a team that plays like Barca. <laughs> 1 billion pounds or more than 1 billion. Instead, we have Fermi Lopez, we have Cubarsi, we have... And 
we play better than them or we play like them. <laughs> it's incredible, guys. It's just fucking incredible. I, I see my people from India. I see my people from Perpignan. Legend. You know what? My family is also from Perpignan. Great, per great place. Uh, Zambia. My people from Zambia. Kenya. Vamos. Uh, Sri Lanka, Canada. Vamos, my people. Let's see. What else do you guys have to say? Kubarsi was nearly perfect tonight, man. I think, you know, it's just incredible, guys, the fact that Kubarsi is 17 years old and, 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 and Lamin Yamal is 16 years old, guys. Today, we went, we beat PSG, who's investing millions and millions and millions and millions and millions. And we came with two kids, with two kids from high school. <laughs> we came with two kids from the high school, man. It's insane, man. It's insane. It's, it's, it's. We are broke. <laughs> we are broke. My people from Polonia, from Canada. My people from Trinidad y Tobago. My people from Nigeria, from Sierra Leona. Legends, guys. This is the real planet, guys. This is the real Blaugrana planet. Streaming live from Barcelona, guys. Streaming live from Barcelona. People from Croatia. Um, let me know, guys. Let me know what you guys have to say because it's insane. Guys, it's insane. The picture of the night is on, on the screen right now. Um, it, it's funny. It's funny. It's funny because, you know, it's better to play as an underdog. That's for sure. By the way, great goal from Christensen, which he, he scored the first goal of the season. Uh, of his first goal of the season with Football Club Barcelona. Uh, my people from Jamaica, Jamaica, Kuwait, South Africa, Sweden, Luxembourg. Uh, um, my G's, my G's, my G's, my G's. So, so guys, it's, it's just, uh, this is an, uh, another level, guys. This is another chapter. Should Xavi st stay after this? If we go into the semifinals, should Xavi stay? This is the question for you guys. Let me know because I have high hopes. And in fact, the breaking news that I dropped two days ago, and in fact, uh, I got them from a journalist that then dropped them into sport, Diario Sport. It's the fact that uh, Juan Laporta wants to convince Xavi Hernandez. He wants to convince Xavi Hernandez. And it's, it's his mission. He doesn't have a plan B for now. Like, uh, like pretty much Tom Plan B. I see my people says, a lot from the Philippines. Uh, I see Chavi Stay, Chavi Stay, a lot from Chavi Stay. Um, Don from Suriname, legend. So I see a lot of people want Chavi to stay. I think, I think that Barca has no pressure now. Barca released the pressure. But certainly, certainly, I think that Chavi is better than any other coach that can come really now. What are the options? What are the options? We are, we are broke. We cannot get uh, De Cervi. We cannot get Luis Enrique. We cannot get Guardiola. We cannot get Arteta. They're going to make us pay 20 million euros for the coach. We don't want that. We don't want that. I see Xavi all the way. I see my people from Yugoslavia, from Holland. Uh, I see people from India. I love from India. Lewi is, was phenomenal today. Absolutely. My people from Thailand. Uh, Mbappe, uh, Mbappe wants Xavi to stay. <laughs> legend, man, legend. Anyways, 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 anyways. Uh, guys, what a, what, a, what a game, guys, what a game. So I'm, I'm pumped, I'm hyped, I'm thrilled, I'm excited. I can't wait for the second game, guys. I can't wait. Unfortunately, I'm not in the city to watch it in the stadium, man. Unfortunately, I'm not in the city, man sucks because of work but anyways my people from france from canada you guys are great guys this is the real blaugrana planet this is the real deal man were you expecting rafinha to do what he did today or who were you expecting to shine because i know i know i have a feeling guys i have a feeling that xavi can stay one more season at the end of the day guys his contract is one more year why why are you leaving us now do one more year of a contract and you know what you know who ends a, a, a contract the year after that so after next season Pep Guardiola for example Luis Enrique there's many many coaches maybe even Jurgen Klopp could become available after a, 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 a year of vacation guys 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 it's important I know you guys would want um, what's his name Hansi Flick but guys, I don't, I don't have a good feeling with Hansi Flick, man. Let me tell you, this is the truth. I don't have it. He doesn't speak uh, um, Spanish. He barely speaks any English. Uh, how is he going to communicate with the players? Uh, at the end of the day, 
guys, he needs to know uh, football. Like, he needs to know La Masia. He needs to know so many things. It's it's important he knows Spanish. I know he's been taking Spanish lessons, but I don't know, man. I prefer Xavi to stay one more season. And then we will see. And then Xavi should go to another team. Um, should go to another team. Should go uh, maybe to the Italian league, maybe to the German league. You know, get some experience. And then we can pick up back uh, Xavi Hernandez. But, but I think the, 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 the remedy will be worse than the disease, you know, right now. But anyways, guys, I made it 20 minutes. I don't want to make it any longer, guys. Thank you so much for such a great video. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Bless you all. Pisca al Barça. Pisca Catalunya. And now, and as I always say, see you in the next video. Vamos, Barça! Vamos!